Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. No need for a team recap this episode, because for the past four episodes, we basically have the same exact team, so... <laughs> uh, and same moves as well. It is... It is fun. We are spontaneous and fun over here at the Spencer of War 2 channel, that's for sure. But, um, number one priority of this episode is to get Kyle up to level 29 so he can learn Leaf Blade. I did not realize how close he actually was to learning Leaf Blade, but he's pretty dang close, and we're gonna go for that. Because why not? For some reason, why why, why is Kyle's Absorb doing the same amount as George's Rock Smash? I do not get that. I guess Kyle's more strong than I thought he was, I don't even know. Ah, we're just chilling though. How are you guys doing today? Let me know in the comments down below. Spinda's bop boop beep dead. There we go. Also, uh, talking about this Let's Play, I know I talked about it a little bit last episode, but um, if you guys are wondering how in-depth I'm gonna go with Hoenn, I'd love to do like all the, all the legendaries, like some frontier stuff. Never done the Battle Frontier, I'd love to do that. But I'm not sure if I'm going to start another Pokemon Let's Play before that. Or if I'm gonna like put that on hold just to do tons of post game stuff, I will wait and see. What I may do is start a new let's play and do like hour long specials of me doing post game stuff. I don't know, man. That sounds like a me thing to do. Also, you can find Skarmory and Sandshrew here. Like, this is such a cool route. Honestly, thinking about it, using Skarmory and Helen would actually be kind of fun. Because he does really good against like everything. Skarmory is just an amazing Pokemon overall. I know its moves suck. Like, <laughs> if you're using Steel Wing on Skarmory in the Elite Four, I, 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 actually, I should say against Red, then you have problems, because that's me. I was I was using Steel Wing and Fly, and like, looking back, I'm like, what? That's the same playthrough where I had a Faint Attack and Dark Pulse Umbreon, who had a minus special attack nature. Like, what? What's this house? Glass Workshop. Now nah, we're good. Let's go ahead and keep trekking on and get Kyle up to level 29, please. <laughs> That's all I want. How close even is he? He's pretty... Nah, he's not that close. We're good, though. We're good. We're chilling. All these wild encounters, man. Hey, there's my boy. That animation's clean. Skarmory looking like a snack. Or should I say, Skarmory looking like a mansion. What does this man have? Let's go ahead and check him out. Sorry about that guys, I sneezed. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Aaron? That's all you have, really? Okay, I guess we'll destroy this man. Jeez. Aaron is so bulky, I always forget. He is a powerful little man. There we go. Oh man, guys. Kyle, Kyle's putting in some work lately. I think it's because I insulted him in one of the episodes and he got real self-conscious. But Kyle, Kyle's doing pretty good. Oh, a double battle here? That's nice. Yeah, the, the sheer amount of double battles in Emerald's kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure I heard that, like, it's overwhelmingly, like, the most double battles in any game ever, which is kind of great. I would believe it. Oh, Skarmory, are you kidding me? Ugh, that's annoying. <laughs> I guess we're gonna yawn it, because that Skarmory's not gonna die. Meryl's dead. I just want that Skarmory to die, please. That's scary. What else he's got? A Lombre. That's not scary. Let's target the Lombre, because I just want... Okay, Skarmory used agility. That's actually super, super scary. <laughs> Fury Cutter and Fury Swipes. We're just taking out all of our anger on this one man right here. Jeez, dude. 
That Fury Cutter and Fury Smudge difference is kind of funny. It's kind of weird, like, Stab seems a lot more powerful in this game than it does in other games. I don't get it, but that's something I've always wondered. Because, like, it happened with Absorb and um, Rock Smash last episode, and this episode with Fury Cutters and... Er, wait, with Fury Cutter and Fury Swipes. It's so weird. Okay, that that did damage. <laughs> I take it back. I'm not that scared. Look at that. Physical physical moves just do nothing. Also, I'm kind of sad. I thought that Vigoroth learned Feint Attack, but it doesn't, and I'm pretty sure Slacking doesn't either, which is the biggest sad moment of 2020, that's for sure. Skarmory's still not dead for some reason. It woke up, please no. Okay, good. I appreciate it. Aw, oh, quick attacking is Skarmory. There's something poetic about it. Lots of XP. I like it. Bird Keeper Kobe. <laughs> that's, that's priceless. Hello, I'm Bird Keeper Kobe. <laughs> I love it. Doesn't Bird Keeper Toby have like a mullet now or something? He has some crazy hair. I saw it the other day and I was like, what? I was impressed. Thank you very much for the free XP, YouTube. I appreciate it. And let's go. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, if you look in front of the PC, there's actually someone very important over there. Let's go ahead and talk to her after Nurtstroy heals our balls. My voice cracked there. That was embarrassing. All right, my name's Spencer. No way. I had no idea. It's Lynette. I love Lynette. She's like the least important PC person of all time. Even though Johto kind of stole from Kanto with Bill, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, she wants to meet us on Route 114. Also, there's a nugget here. Fun fact. You're also a nugget. Fun fact. Oh yeah, so I didn't realize this, but these aren't contest halls. These are battle tents. So that's a thing. Move Tutor's house. Let's go in here. Is this um, the heart skill guy? Yeah, that's cool. I like it. Yeah, hard skills are super useful. I didn't really get into it until a little bit lately. Let's go into the fossil guy's house, shall we? I think um I think in Ruby and Sapphire this is like under construction or something. I forget. The fossil maniac. Ah, oh, I gotcha. So um. Emerald does the whole fossil thing kind of differently. It's hard to explain. But in Ruby and Sapphire, you go to the top right of the desert area in Route 111. And you can go ahead and scoop up. Let's do a double battle real quick. You can go ahead and scoop up one of the fossils. But in here, it's an emerald. It's the bottom left. And there's a little castle that spawns. And at the top, there's a fossil. And you have to do a Sky Pillar-esque like puzzle. It's kind of confusing, but you can pick one at the top, and then post-game you can get the other one. So that's cool, question mark? Fake out is annoying. Okay, cool. And it crits. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to see. Nuzleaf, man. That's like one of my, one of my least favorite Pokemon for completely personal reasons, as you guys know. Not telling that story for the fifth time. <laughs> Not doing it. Barboach is going to get one hit. Also, super interested in using a wish cache. Because um, Swampert gets all the love for the water ground little fandom. But wish cache did it after Swampert. <laughs> so that's the thing. Ooh. Yes. Guys, I'm so hyped. We learned Leaf Blade. Yes. I've been looking forward to this day for ages. <laughs> now, before before we even started this Let's Play, I knew about the whole Absorb and Leaf Blade thing. Ah, oh, I'm hyped. We got an Energy Powder. That heals 200 health. Fun effects.
let's battle some of these trainers. There are tons of fishermen up there, but I'm pretty sure they have like Magikarp and stuff. We don't really need it. Or maybe we do, I don't even know. Alright, Meryl, you're about to get smacked. <laughs> Here we go, I can't wait to see this animation again. Aw, oh, it feels so good. We are going to have this have that move until the end of time, so we gotta get used to it. <laughs> Kyle is officially good. Yes! Alright, now Ky Kyle may be putting in the finest of work on our entire team. Georgia isn't going to put in fine work until she's level 31. And Brit Brittany's putting in pretty dang fine work. I feel like Brittany's slowly becoming like one of my favorites on the team. I know we only have three and like all of them are my favorite. But Brittany, Brittany's like the kid who used to get bullied in high school but then came back to the family reunion. Or wait, the high school reunion. And just smacks everyone. That's what Brittany's turning into. Much love for Brittany was kind of worried about her when we were in Duford and she was like level 8 and she sucked. But now Brittany is doing amazing. She also evolves at level 30, which I'm excited for. We won't really push for that, but it'll happen fairly soon, which is exciting. Oh, one of the Ruby and Sapphire double battles. I love this. Let's go. The Ruby and Sapphire double battles were just so classic, man. Just two trainers next to each other just chilling. Then Emerald was like, hey, how about we do that times 50? <laughs> and then it happened. The great double battle purge of 2005. 2004, actually, my bad. I think it was 2004. If it was 2005, that would be a year after the DS came out. That would not work. <laughs> Stunts War, are you kidding me? You're annoying. These Pokemon are just annoying sometimes, man. Except if we ever get freaking paralyzed, we we have the solution right in our pockets. <laughs> da okay, dang, Brittany. What is up, guys? This is Dobbs here. Dude. Brittany one hitting someone with acid? I know it was a crit, but still, like, dang. We only have four paralyzed heals left. <laughs> that is priceless. Battle me. Never mind. Ooh, a raspberry. I forget which one that is, but that'll work. Alright, here's Lynette's house. What does she want? Uh, a Lotad doll. Cool. Coolio, that is a thing. That is happening. Cool. We are about to hit one of my favorite freaking areas in Hoenn. I say that about everything in Hoenn. I'm just becoming a Hoenn fanboy slowly. I think it's the third game curse that's happening right now where I just fall in love with the region because I'm playing the third game. I think that's what's happening. Which is why no one likes Unova. <laughs> Fun fact. I really hope we could do a Unova Let's Play on this channel one day. One day, man. One day. Camper Shane didn't make fun of his name. Your name's Shane, idiot. Nuzleaf. Ew. Nuzleaf is like Grovile, but worse. <laughs> Can't have none of that. And there we go. Thank you very much, Shane. Let's go. Wait, there's a trainer down here. Did not see you there. Sorry. <laughs> oof, 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 oof. Is that a meme? If that's not a meme, that should really be a meme. Oof, 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 oof. An Aeron. Interesting. But yeah, Brittany's, Brittany's ending moveset, if it all goes well, will be amazing. Freaking Giga Drain, Ice Beam, Surf, Sludge Bomb if we can get it. Ooh, clean. Giga Drain's kind of like a random move I want to throw on there, but I just love it, man. Like, if you find freaking Swampert anywhere, BAM! Giga Drain to the face. I think there's a, I think there's a protein up here. Yeah, there it is. My knowledge is great. Uh, I don't r usually do this, 
like just teach vitamins to Pokemon willy-nilly, but I kind of want to give it to Vigoroth if we can. There we go. It never hurts, you know. Modifying EVs in a Let's Play. <laughs> That's the thing. I really hope for the for the battle frontier, we won't have to breed in Pokemon and get perfect IVs, because I've never done that. <laughs> Well, I shouldn't say never. I've done it in Pixelmon, which like doesn't count. But <laughs> I've never done it in one of these games. Fun effects. We got a Wingle coming out. That's cool. That's Golds. I don't know. I'm trying, guys. I'm really trying to keep this commentary fresh with Wingle puns, but you can't really do it. Does anyone adore Wingle? Because I feel like Wingle's one of those Pokemon that you could really pull off adoring. You know, like, there are some Pokemon like Audino, like, no one likes Audino, just straight up. I feel like Audino was less hated before her Mega Evolution. <laughs> That's kind of obvious, but, like, everyone was like, out of all Unova Pokemon, that was it. Freaking Conkeldur. Mega Conkeldur would be my favorite Pokemon of all time, fun fact. Kinkelder is one of those Pokemon that I've literally never used in a playthrough, but I just adore, man. Such a good Pokemon. Same with a Mola 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 Mola. If you don't love a Mola Mola Mola, what is wrong with you? That's all I gotta say. These double battles are kind of getting a little redundant, not gonna lie. Ooh, nice Fury Swipe hits. I like it. A little bit of XP. Who's coming out? Meryl. Now that is what I call interesting. Geodude is Bapu Beep. Very, very nice. Who else we got? Numa. Oh, yo, baby. You guys are about to see the biggest reckoning you've ever seen. Gotham's reckoning, that's for sure. I should just do a video of me watching uh, Dark Knight and geeking out over it. <laughs> that would be a great video. I would not get sued at all. Oh man, Georgia, please just become level 31. And Brittany, become level 30. That's all I want. We are actually like very close to level 30 though. That's kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Seems like just yesterday we were struggling. <laughs> That grind sesh really put us over the edge. I love it. Like I said, being overleveled in Pokemon, it's fun. Especially the earlier games where, like, they aren't the easiest. I feel like that's a controversial statement. Every time that I say that early games are, are difficult, people are just like, what? I'd say... Gen 6 is the easiest, obviously. Then Gen 7. Then I'd say Gen 1. Then... Then I'd say Fire Red Leaf Green. I'd say Hardest... Hardest would be Gen 5, I'd say. Or should, should I say Black and White too? I don't know. I just feel like Gen 5 is the hardest for some reason. I also think Gen 4 is pretty hard as well. As far as getting underleveled goes, of course. Gen 2 is pretty easy. I don't know. Just something about Ruby and Sapphire. I, I guess not Emerald, because Emerald seems to be going pretty well. But something about Ruby and Sapphire, man, just like, ooh. For some reason, they ju they're just hard. Like, every time I go to the Elite Four, I'm so underleveled. Meteor Falls looks different. That's cool. What's up here? A full heal? Nice. Pretty sure we can nab a Moonstone here. That would be really dope. A Zubat? Oh, baby. Crobat right now? Ooh, that would hit different. Crobat, baby. Let's go. What's this? A Soul Rock? Is this the counterpart to one of my favorite Pokemon of all time? A Soul Rock? 
I don't know anything about this Pokemon, that's for sure. And it's also got Rock Throw. Oh, baby, I want this. Yes, uh, surprise, I want a Soul Rock on the squad. Why do I want Soul Rock? Because I wanted Loonstone and I'm having withdrawals. Please leave me alone. No, but, uh, without Gardevoir, I was like, what psychic types will we use? Spoink? <laughs> like, that's not happening. But yeah, I've never used a Soul Rock, and I really, really want to, so that's what we're doing right now. We are going to be getting a Soul Rock. Let's go ahead and lob a Great Ball at it. Very nice. <laughs> we got a Soul Rock. Huh. What is a good what is a good Soul Rock nickname? I'm trying to think okay. I'm not gonna look at Name Raider, because that's stupid. I'm going to be googling famous soul singers. And it's gonna be a dude name. Oh, Marvin Gaye, of course. Why did I not think of that? Ooh, I really like Otis. Okay, so I actually love Otis Redding, but like, ah, oh, Otis is a great nickname. Otis the Soul Rock. The Soul Rock. Let's do a quick, uh, quick summary. Calm nature, don't know what that means. Uh, the thing about Soul Rock, I think, I think Calm is minus special attack, I forget. But the thing about Soul Rock is its attack is really high, its special attack is meh. But I just want to use it for some reason, man. Like, oh, it's going to be so much fun. Welcome to the squad, Otis. We're glad to have you here. XP share that thing up. <laughs> With that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Pokemon Emerald, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.